Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to find the value of this uh, radical problem, fifth root of 113 times 1031 times 9 plus 49. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's go ahead and move things around among these numbers. And here I have rearranged these numbers. I put these two numbers 113 times 9 together. And now let's focus on these numbers. And here I have copied them down. And here in this next step I have chunked these numbers. This one and this one. And now if we multiply 113 times 9 we are going to get 1017. Now let's go ahead and tweak these numbers carefully. And now we can see that 1031 could be written as 1024 plus 7, whereas this 1017 could be written as 1024 minus 7. Let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b. Then this could be written as the difference of two squares. And now 7 square is same as 49 over here. So therefore I am going to replace this whole part by this simplified form. So therefore we can write the fifth root of this part is going to be written as 10 24 whole square minus 49 and then I'm going to write down this part as well which is positive 49 and now we can see this negative 49 and positive 49 they are gone so therefore we are ended up with just the fifth root of 10 24 whole square and now let's focus on this base 10 24 and we know that this base 1024 is same as 2 power 10. Now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides, on this side and on this side as well. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So on the right hand side we are going to multiply out these nested exponents. So therefore we can write 1024 whole square equals to 2 power 2 times 10 is 20. So therefore I am going to replace this radicant 1024 whole square by this 2 power 20. So I can write the fifth root of 2 power 20. And now we can write this fifth root as 2 power 20 and then whole power 1 over 5 by using this basic rule. And now let's go ahead and apply this power rule once again over here on these two nested exponents. So therefore we are going to get 2 power 20 times 1 fifth is going to give us power 4. And we know that 2 power 4 is just 16. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be 16. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.